Sometimes the examiners give you massive, massive hints in the exams, but you ignore them. So here's one of the massive ones they give you and what the answer's gonna be. Sometimes in an equation you will see little things in brackets after the, the chemical that you've given you. These are the state symbols. G is for gas, L is for liquid, um, S is for solid, and AQ is for aqueous, so a solution. And if you see these in the exam, the examiners are giving you a massive, massive clue as to what the answer to the question is. Because it has to do with these symbols. They, wouldn't, they don't generally write them in unless they want you to refer to them. For example, if you have two solutions, so an aqueous and an aqueous, or a liquid and aqueous, or a liquid and a liquid being mixed together, and one of the products is a solid, which has a little s, the answer is generally going to be, it goes cloudy. So they might give you an equation and say, what would you expect to see in this reaction? It goes cloudy because a solid is produced. Um, or they might mix two things together, could be two solutions, could be a solution and a liquid, and then a gas is given off. And now the gas is just going to float away and the mass of that is going to decrease. So if it's one where they have it on scales, um, the mass is going to decrease. The other answer they could be looking for in this situation is that it bubbles. Okay, so bubbles and mass is going to decrease if a gas is released. Now, obviously, I can't tell you exactly what the answer is going to be because I don't know what this year's exam question is going to be, but there is just one hint to kind of like a massive, massive clue the examiners are giving you that most of you ignore.